good evening. <laughs> I have decided to do the entire show tonight in the form of the sort of aloof villain. <laughs> Oh, you mock me now. <laughs> Let me see how comfortable you feel when your chair's turned into uh, slidey things and go down and you are consumed by, by deadly piranhas. You've gone too far this time. How dare you talk to me in that tone of roboty voice? <laughs> how dare you, sir, affect such a dialect? Well, it's, I'm just trying something on. Yeah, no, it's good. I like yeah, it. I, no. just, just, trying to, just trying to do something a little bit different. Yeah, mix it up. No, it's fine. All right, all right, I'll pretend to be German. You want me to pretend to be German? Yeah, yeah, all sure. All right, I'll yeah, do it again. Yeah. Right, wait there. Here I come. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to the Late Late Show with Skinny Robot Man and Pathetic Dancy. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hello, everyone. Welcome. <laughs> This is a show where the foreign man and the robot pretend to have a script, but they don't. <laughs> Correct? There are no words. There are no words. There are no down. words on the paper. Sometimes the paper arrives, and it is just simply that paper. <laughs> there are no squiggly lines or bits that say, okay. Man from another country, you say this, and then robot, you say, I don't want to pretend to be German, all right? All right. That's fine. Who would Can we pretend to be well, let's pretend to be something else? All right. Oh. Whoa. What the hell was that? Why, somebody from the audience said yes. Yes. Yes, please do. Yeah, yeah, pretend to be something else. Like, yeah? How about you pretend that you... Yeah, and your... So is your face. Yeah, you get... Yeah, you, you suck. You yeah. Get, yeah. Yeah, you, 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 you said that, but... Yeah. That's how you deal with hecklers, Jeff. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> Very effective. Yeah, yeah. You just, you kind of go, so is your face, and then don't look at them. That works. That's very effective. That doesn't work at all. Why don't you, why don't you go to the Price is Right, then? Yeah, if you yeah. Don't wanna well, yeah. Here. Yeah, why don't you go to the Price is Right? Yeah, why don't you go and... Hmm. <laughs> uh, let's pretend to be... I'll pretend to be originally from Scotland, but now living in America, and you pretend to be an appliance. I'm pretending to be a defective appliance. I'm pretending to give a rat's ass. I watch you when you sleep. I unplug you and clean you with a wire brush. I wish you'd do it more often. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. <laughs> Show with Craig Ferguson, sponsored by Progressive. Visit Progressive.com today. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. Say what a spectacular studio oh, yeah. audience we oh, have! Yeah. <laughs> very, look, look at my exciting tie I'm wearing for tonight. Look very at this tie! Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a Friday! It's a great day for America, everybody! <laughs> shuffle, shuffle, run, shuffle, run, hands in pockets. 
Hands in pockets to look relaxed. Lean into a camera to suggest intimacy with audience at home. <laughs> Wink, perhaps. Little too creepy, maybe. I get it. <laughs> Lean back, don't frighten the folks. Talking in a little singy voice. Late night do shuffle. Late night do bang on the yeah. go. Doing my thing for the folks at home and here at CBS. <laughs> Got my tie on, it's a sensible color. It's sensible color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't mention sex organs or cuss words, cause people could be corrupted. <laughs> We're on after 12.35 in your region. What the hell's your problem? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's fright. Here's the big news for today. Um, for me, anyway, and for a lot of people. Yeah. Benedict, the ex-pope, has moved back into the Vatican. Uh-oh. Yeah. He was living in temporary housing for a few weeks. Now there are two popes living in the Vatican at the same time. Uh, sitcom! Sitcom! Yeah. yeah. Sitcom! Definitely! <laughs> the old popel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The odd couple. Yeah, 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 I got it. Which is coincidentally what the odd couple was called in Germany. <laughs> the, odd pope. the odd couple in Germany was called the odd couple. <laughs> you know, you can have Pope Benedict is all messy and kind of like rah, rah, and Pope Francis is persnickety. How are they going to get along? I don't know. Maybe they should adopt a kid. It, yeah, stay with me. <laughs> I said, <laughs> good night, Catholics. It could be. Maybe, no, maybe they could. It could be. It's a joke. It's just a joke. No, just give it a thought. Two and a half popes. It'd be good. Yeah, two and a half. Yeah. And they get the kid from two and a half men. He, he'd be free. He's free. Yeah, he's good enough. He'd love hanging around. He would love hanging around with popes. And after a while, the popes would be like, enough talking about God, kid from two and a half men. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just got into trouble, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> Do you know why I'm excited? Like, not pretend excited, really excited. Why are you excited? Well, I'll tell you why I'm really excited. Iron Man 3 opens today! Iron Man 3! <laughs> yeah. yeah! This is the one. I'm very excited. This is the one. Iron Man... Iron Man goes up his most, uh, against his most dangerous enemy yet. Rust. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the sprinklers! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I don't care who Iron Man fights. I'm just glad he's back home. I love his that theme song for Iron Man. You know, Iron Man, Iron Man <laughs> does whatever Iron can. No oh, man. No. no. All right, Spider Man. I always get spiders and iron mixed up. That's why I rub a tarantula over my pants before I put them on. Sometimes. <laughs> It's in my pants right now. <laughs> Best feeling ever. <laughs> Keep dancing, my hairy friend. <laughs> you too, little spider. Yeah. Hey, see what I did? Yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, the Iron Man 3, uh, the trailer looks fantastic. Show the trailer, it's awesome. I can't sleep. And when I do, I have nightmares. It was going pretty well until that, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I like the first two Iron Man movies. I, I like the fact that Iron Man doesn't keep his identity a secret. Everyone knows he's Tony Stark. He's just free to be himself. So he doesn't have to pretend to be someone else. He won't let a uniform hide who he truly is. He's like the NBA's Jason Collins. Good for you, Jason, I say. Good for you! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <clears throat> They're like, eh. Yeah. <laughs> We're still a little worried about the two popes thing. <laughs> Iron Man, of course, played by Robert Downey Jr., who is fantastic. He's saying, though, this is the, is the last time he'll be playing Iron Man. That's Hollywood code for, hey, movie studio, pony up. <laughs> pony up. Can you do that, Jeff? I like Jeff? that. I like that. Po pony up. Pony up. 
Pete Cooney. And uh, Robert Downey Jr.'s girlfriend is played by Gwyneth Paltrow, the world's most beautiful woman. <laughs> Nobody asked me, I guess. No, she's, lo she's lovely. She's a beautiful... And she plays the character of Pepper Potts. Yeah, that's a great name. <laughs> what do the executives come up with the name Pepper Potts? I need a condiment and a cooking utensil. Together. <laughs> Together. How about... Um, Wasabi ladle. It's close, but it's not right. You got one, Jeff? But, uh, pickle baster. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What about, uh... <laughs> what about mustard tongs? Mustard tongs. What about, uh, ginger spatula? <laughs> what about chutney meat thermometer? <laughs> that would actually be a great name. Yeah. The name's meat thermometer. Chutney, meet Thermometer. <laughs> Hello, Chutney. We meet again. So, we, me <laughs> we meet again. Chutney. <laughs> well, we can't both be called Chutney. You have to be Mustard Tongs. Yeah, I'm Mustard Tongs. And I'm Chutney, meet Thermometer. That's right. Well, Chutney, we meet again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here every night. So are you. I was going to say something awful. But oh, I really? Yeah. No, don't say anything bad. <laughs> Folks at home could get corrupted. <laughs> Plus, we may be off the air after that two popes crack earlier on. <laughs> you want to do, uh... Yeah, I mean, you want to you wanna go? You want to get out of here? No, I, you want to do the... Yeah, sure, yeah. Do the yeah. commercial. Yeah, do no the commercial. problem. Would yeah. you want me to back it up? Yeah, back it I'll up. I'll back maybe. it up. Come on. More Comedy Labs with Chutney Meat Thermometer and Mustard Tongs after this. There's one left. There's one left. Yeah! yeah! Man. Wow. yeah! <laughs> All right! Oh, hey, you know, you, you know you've got yourself in a little bit of trouble when you hit the horse with a frisbee and the back end is acting more upset than the front end. <laughs> because what you don't know about horses is, especially horses that aren't really horses, there's a nerve that goes from their head all the way to their ass. That's true. Do you like the way I said ass there? Ass. I sounded Scandinavian. Ass. Ass. This is a word we use in Sweden for bottom. <laughs> my Swedish accent is very like my German accent. Yeah, yeah, I like that, though. It's... A lot, lot of people in Sweden are very happy about that. <laughs> Sorry, Swedish friends. Uh, what are you doing this weekend? I'm just, you know, I'm hanging out. I'm working on my boat. <laughs> yeah. Working on your boat? There you know, go. Yeah, the boy's a sailboat, a motorboat. Yeah. You like the motor? I love a motorboat. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Boy, it. who doesn't? Oh, yeah. Is it a sailboat or a motorboat? No, it's a schooner. A schooner? Yeah. Wow, where do you go with your schooner? Yeah, I, uh, Laguna. Laguna? In yeah. your schooner? Sure. You go to Laguna? Hang on a second. I'm going to need a phone for that. Okay. Hang on. Say, Jeff, do you go to Laguna on your schooner? I certainly do. You're welcome to come down this weekend if you'd like. I can. I'm staying at home pretending to be German. Oh, it sounds a lot like you're Swedish. I know, it's a terrible connection. <laughs> so, you ever hit a horse in the head and have the backside act up? <laughs> no, but I've uh, done something similar. Why don't you come over? We'll talk about it. <laughs> okay, you said. <laughs> Sounds like you, you're very phony far away. Did you just get a phone effect on your voice there? I'm doing my impression of the guy from Silence of the Alarms. What? Well, the guy from Silence of the Alarms? Oh, he talks like that. He talks like that. He put the lotion in the basket, that guy. Put, put the lotion in my schooner. <laughs> hang up, hang up. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Wrong number. <laughs> what time is it, Jeffrey Pearson? Well, it's street mail time. Time to take advice from a man who once danced under the name Mustard Thongs. <laughs> All right, we'll do our own jingle today. Yeah, yeah, Ready? Good Tweets and emails. <laughs> Tweets and emails. <laughs> 
Want to do a quick duel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Please. All right, uh, this is, uh, we have one minute, 13 seconds to do all the emails and tweets. So we'll have to... Quickly, there's, there's no time. time. Quickly, there's read no the time. tweets. All right. Quick, quick. This is from Alex in New Brunswick, New Jersey. He says, Dear Craig and Jeff, how come you stop giving money to your guests when they leave? Is anyone upset? Yeah, CBS. That's why I don't give them money anymore when they leave. <laughs> this is from Miles in Salt Lake City. He sent a picture of some eggs. Oh, that's nice. Thanks, Miles. Uh, he says, dude, your opening video makes me hungry for a chili dog from Pink's every night, but I'm a thousand miles away. Oh, well, never mind. Chill. <laughs> Call me dude. Yeah, we're we supposed to send him a hot dog? What the hell, man? Send him a hot dog. Is that code? Yeah, that's... All right. <laughs> this is from Augustine in Paris, France. Bonjour. Yeah. Hello. What's that? Hello. Is that, is that French? Hello. <laughs> Hello, Craig and Jeff. We miss you in Paris. When will you come back? Probably pretty soon. Uh, I think uh, we'll be available as soon as uh, CBS gets a load of the, uh, the Pope monologue at the beginning yeah, of the show. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a joke. I didn't mean any disrespect. Just kidding, man. I, just, I didn't mean any disrespect. Yeah. It's a joke. <laughs> this is from Felicia in Orono in Maine. You ever been there? Orono. Yeah, I think it'd be Orono, or it could be O. Rono. Oh, Rono. <laughs> Dear Craig and Jeff, I'm coming to California. Good for you. Uh, <laughs> and finally, this is from Lexi in Oklahoma City. I love it out there in Oklahoma. It's, it's flat, 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 flat. Is it flat? No. <laughs> it's too hilly. Uh, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Lexi in Oklahoma City says, Dear Craig and Jeff, my roommates and I fight all the time over everything, but I can't afford to move out. Suggestions? What about renting a room from the Pope? <laughs> it's a joke. I don't... You, you, can po you can possibly do that. Could you? Could you? you might. Sure, you might be able to, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I like about this time on a Friday night? What's that? Then? Something sexy. Yeah. 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 You know, little, you know what I'm little, talking about. Little music, little, little sexy music, music. Little music. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do it. Welcome back to the Benny Hill Show. My name's Benny. <laughs> My first guest tonight is a beautiful actress. She stars in The Office. The series finale uh, airs on May the 16th, which is Piers Brosnan's birthday. <laughs> yeah, it's on NBC. Take a look at this. <laughs> hey, hey! <laughs> Angela Kinsey, everybody. Angela Kinsey. The little Tom Cruise still, That's my in case Tom he's ever on. Yeah. I know. I feel like someday we're going to meet him. And I'm gonna but Tom Cruise? Someday, right? And I'm going to probably say, I use your stool. And he's going to be like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that came out wrong. Yeah, it did a little bit. <laughs> you, know. you came out great, though. Oh, Look at you. Wow. Thanks. You look hot. <laughs> no, it's true. Very young. You think so? Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, it's all kind of. Mm, 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 I don't have a. I don't have a job right now. Mm, 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 mm. I think you'll get a job anytime you want. You look great. 
<laughs> Is that it then? The office is done? That's it. It's Wasn't done. It was terribly sad. It was sad. Was it nine years? Nine years. Wow. Yeah. It's kind of like we all went to high school together, and then we were roommates in college, and then we lived together a few years after that. That's how I break things down. <laughs> No, I, uh, yeah, but uh, high school for me was like, what, three years? Three, that was it? You like... Why do you think I ended up here? You think I want to do this? Yeah. This is what happens to you if you don't go to school, kids. Get what? an education. Yeah, it's all right. Did you have a good education? Did you go to college? I did. What'd you do? I was an English major. Oh, hurrah! <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Don't applaud. We don't know her grades yet. <laughs> Were you any good? I was very good one semester. Right. Excellent. And then after that, it was like, Whoa. What kind of uh, English literature did you... Uh, uh, English literature. Dickens, Balzac? Oh, no, he's French. No, uh, uh, creative writing. Oh, creative yes. writing? What did you write? I wrote all kinds of wonderful things. Did you write stories? <laughs> I wrote all kinds of stories about my hometown and traveling abroad with my family. Did you travel abroad? I, I grew up in Indonesia. Oh, that's right. Which, by the way, my mom and dad are at my house right now. Right. And my mom, as I left, was like, please don't talk about us anymore on the shows you do. <laughs> She's like, pick another family member. I just did it. We should talk about your mom a little bit. We should yeah. talk about your mom a little bit because she has a fantastic accent, which I, yeah. I've never met her, but yours. Yeah. Uh, my dad, I've been told, sounds like Boomhauer. I've been told that. He doesn't care for that. Right. Um, but uh, when, when I left my house, he was on a ladder saying to me, all your fans are set on winter mode. <laughs> <laughs> they need to be on summer mode. And I was like, Dad, um, can I deal with this when I get back? Because I'm going to do a show right now. He, he was adamant. You don't want to have your fans set on winter mode, though. Your dad's right. I I know. <laughs> But yeah, so that's what's happening. So, uh, so the, the office is finished. What do you what do you fancy now? Drama, horror movie, perhaps? Ooh, no. No. I think I'd be too scared in a horror movie. Well, it's, it's not actually scary at the it's time. I like what you're doing. Keep sorry. doing it. All right. Listen, he's tall in his knees right here. Yeah, it is. That's what happened. Tall, my knees, all, I'm, my knee, and then it's connected all the way up. Knees. <laughs> Um, my knee goes all the way up. My, I'm all you, knee. I'm pretty much mostly knee. I'm entirely made of... Most of me is cartilage. Look, and that is hot. That, women love that. Oh, Ooh, I'm a, a man I can just really I'm a, finger. I'm just all knees. <laughs> yeah. Hey. yeah. Um, no, I... You made me lose my train of thought. <laughs> no, a uh, horror movie, maybe? Well, Was it that? No, I get too creeped out. For real. I know it's pretend, and I know right. all that, but, like, on The Office, I had to one time hold a fake baby. And then one time I had to hold a, I had to throw a fake cat up in the ceiling. That's... Yeah, but uh, the cat... I'll tell you what, the fake cat people creep me out more than the fake baby people. <laughs> because... I think I can go along with you there. Yeah. I, I, uh... Well, the fake babies are just weird, because they're like... Anyway, and then the cats are like... Hey, hey, hey. They look Is this like, a fake cat or a regular cat? It's the fake... Do you have a regular cat? Or a fake cat? Well, or any cats at all? I am feeding two stray. One that's kind of mine. And then one, he has a buddy now. Are we, are we still talking about cats? Yes. All right. <laughs> I've become that lady. Really? You're... Yes. I go out every night, and I'm like, dee, 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 and I'm like, and I'm sure I have these super sexy neighbors that live next door. What do you mean super sexy neighbors? Well, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, tell me. Oh, no. No, it's all right. Oh, no. They're okay. They've just moved in. They're a group of gals. Right. And oh, like, yeah. yeah, I know. No, like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Slow it down a little bit. Slow it down. Take your time. So. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. I don't really know them yet. They borrowed a cheese grater from me. Oh, but... yeah, they did. Um. Oh. Our cheese is just in one giant no. block. It needs help. It, our cheese needs to be shredded in some way. Okay, now listen. So, they came over. So, they're all super cute, and they were like, little taps of my cheese. And I'm holding the cup here because I'm salivating into it. <laughs> and, and they all drive fancy cars. I've never seen so many fancy oh, cars. Oh, wait a minute. They're neighbor... hookers. They're hookers. Now, they said they were in fashion. I'm oh! In <laughs> I'm going to be in so much trouble. So anyway, I and my neighborhood is not fancy, but they're very fancy. Uh, evidently, yeah. And I do. I get subconscious now because our my driveway is on the other side of theirs. And I go out at night, like in my furry robe, and I'm always like, <laughs> like, I'm the crazy cat lady. Yeah. I know they think, I know they're like, that 
bitch is feeding the cats again. <laughs> but anyway. They ain't thinking that. They're not? No. They? They're thinking, how are we gonna get the cheese shredder? <laughs> well, you're like Bill Clinton right now. Every t You know, the thing is, if you smoke marijuana, it makes you sound like Bill, Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton? Yeah. <laughs> like, you smoke it, you go, man, uh, oh, uh, uh, uh. And if you take crystal meth, it makes you look like you were in the French Revolution. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that Oprah. Oh, did yeah. you see the meth episode? Meth, yeah, of meth. Oprah? meth oh, oh, boy, that yeah. scared me. I never did that drug. It was like they invented it after I was. Uh, I don't do. It. I'm square. Yeah, I don't square. do anything either. Yeah. But I have to wait. Okay. Do it so, again. It's all me. Help yourself. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Um, so I have to tell you this one thing that happened backstage. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, I'm so tickled by it. He okay. So I got here and I had this dress. And George. Someone tickled you backstage? No, it makes me tickled. It's, oh right, right, it's right. A southern thing. Right, because I'll tickle you if you want. Okay. All right. Wow. I need to come here more often. Yeah, you do. <laughs> okay. All these fans are on summer mode right Woo. now. <laughs> um. Okay. So I I show my dress to George. Mm -hmm. George is your wardrobe fella. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you know, it's totally see through. And I was like, oh. Oh, I forgot the slip, okay? Because it's like a little crochet something. Anyway, so he was like, hmm, I don't know if we have slips. And then he said, this part looks protected. But he had a funny saying for the boob thing. I can't remember. I he, know what he says. The twins of truth and beauty. That's what you call them. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Okay. So he says, the twins of truth and beauty seem fine. But I'm worried about this part. So I'm like, okay. No, that, that's just this part? <laughs> this part. <laughs> There's the, nothing poetic for down there. Just the, the twins of truth and beauty and yeah. other areas. Yeah. And, and, and down under. So then he comes back in a little bit and he says, oh gosh, how do you say it? He said, um, uh, pulled a nose hair and shed a tear and found a slip from the young and the restless. <laughs> and I said, do what? <laughs> so, but he came. I am wearing a slip from the from the wardrobe department of the Young and Restless. We'll be right back with Angela Kenzie. I'm here with Angela Kinsey. She's wearing a slip from the Young and the Restless. <laughs> We're out of time. Oh, we are? Yeah, yeah. We talked way too long we earlier did. on about, you know, your slip and... Uh... All that. George said I have to give it back. <laughs> you don't have to give it back. I don't? No. Are no, you... I'm, you're gonna, like, I'm telling you right now. Yeah, yeah. You got a there? problem with that, you come see me after, all right? Young and the Restless. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but you keep it, and uh, you wear it when you go out and feed the cats. Okay. <laughs> you can give those girls something to talk Sexy about. Neighbor. Yeah, yeah. Hey. hey, I'm just feeding the cats a little bit a of little bit, yeah. shaved cheese. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we're out of time. Uh, can you, uh, you want to throw frisbees at the horse? You want an awkward pause? Oh, uh, I want to throw a frisbee at the horse. A frisbee or some frisbees? Um, one. No, I'm, I'm supposed to do more than one? Yeah, you can do as many as you like. All right. Angela Kinsey, everybody! Yeah. My next guest is a very funny comedian. He's performing tomorrow night, Saturday, at the Brava Theatre in San Francisco, and Sunday night at the Showbox in Seattle. Please welcome Simon Amstel, everybody. Simon Amstel. Hello, Simon. 
Hello, Craig. Simon, what, what, a, what a lovely name. Oh, well, Craig's all right as well, isn't it? Well, I don't know. It sounds a bit, uh, it sounds a bit odd here, especially in Los Angeles. When people say my name, they go, Rack. Oh. <laughs> Did they call you Simon? No. <laughs> they probably will now. <laughs> Thank you for having me. <laughs> I thought you weren't going to tell anyone. <laughs> This is my first, um, this is what you do, isn't it? You pick up the yeah, cup. Yeah, pick up the cup, pretend you're thirsty. There you go. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> or the other way you could go is pretend there's something very strong and alcoholic in it as well. Then what is this? Oh, it says, this is a, a Freudian penis compensation thing. Were you, were you bullied as a child for having a small mug? I was bullied as a child, but I was bullied as a child because it's an essential part of the life of a stand-up comedian. You surely must have been bullied as a child. No. <laughs> what? No, I wasn't. How the hell did you get into this profession, then? Uh, oh, child of divorce. Ah, right. Well, you should not get married so young, then, should you? <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit heartless, wasn't it? <laughs> right, I didn't... I, I think I wasn't listening. Oh! Um, I do that all the time. But I don't... I, I, this is my first late-night American talk show. I don't... What other are things... You, are you passing gas? There? No, I'm just... <laughs> just trying to find a way to sort of be comfortable in the situation. Well... This is very distracting. Why do it? you... Why do you have to have this? Well, you know, a friend of mine gave it to me and I don't have a band. I thought it would help, you know. <laughs> I'm not trying to just... I, I mean, I can cover it I just it think it's too, it's too much. What about... You? Like this, have that. No, I can't have that. It's got my oh. name on it. Oh, I see. You can't drink it. It's bad luck to drink out of a cup with your name on it. Is it? Maybe. That's not, that's not true. Are you superstitious? No, but, uh, but I can't put keys on a table. Well, yes, you can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that's sort of that. Well, that's now. sort of that. Hey, are you in therapy? Uh, I was. I'll be your therapist then. OK. All right. Let's pretend you're in therapy. I think I don't need therapy anymore. Yes, I thought you might say that. <laughs> well, are you, are you better, then? Well, having, you know, spoken to you for three minutes, I feel it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Many people think that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> You're playing in San Francisco tomorrow. That'll be nice. Yes, should, but we shouldn't... Should we, should we talk about that? This is because we're, we're in L.A. Oh, it... <laughs> it's, it's all right. It's all America. Everyone's fine. <laughs> I, uh, well, this is... But it, we're, it's just going out in all of America. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. well, this! Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, it's uh, remarkable. What did you think it was? The local news? <laughs> well, I mean, you booked me. <laughs> I mean, it was very nice that people clapped when I came. Like, who is this stranger? <laughs> but... <laughs> they think that about me when I come out, but we all get to know each other. No, but you've done really well, haven't you? You've been here for a long time. Oh, you've, you've broken into America. How did you do it? How well I, did I you... became a citizen and embraced their ways. You're a citizen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I love well, it here. But what about, like, in, in show business? Like, who do you have to... Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fair question. <laughs> it's a fair question. My... My feeling is... Everybody, then you're bound to get the right person at some point. That's good. All right, then. What's this thing? <laughs> well, let me rephrase that. That's one of the things you don't have to. <laughs> this guy. But you're more than welcome to. <laughs> wow. Have you ever been to San Francisco before, Simon? You'll like it very much. Yeah, I went, I went once before. I did a show there before once. <laughs> was that a good anecdote? Yeah. <laughs> it was great. I liked the bit where you did the show. Yeah. Uh, what, so, go on, to tell me about... About things? About oh, things. Well, uh... Do you have any... Hang on, what, what, aren't there questions? No, no, bless you. Did oh. you, like, rip, you ripped up the card, or is it still here? It's over there, in pieces. What, what... Uh, I don't really... I don't care for that. I don't care for all of that. Has anyone got any glue? Because I don't know... Do you have a substance abuse problem? <laughs> because all the fans here are set to winter. <laughs> I'm doing a punchline for Manila. It's a callback thing, you know. Oh, I, I see. Oh, yes. I should have watched the show. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> yeah, you're right. You're a friend of Eddie Izzard. Eddie's a friend of mine. Well, uh, well, he's. I mean, I've met him a few times, and he's always very nice to me. Well, he rates you very highly. Yeah, that's really. It's so nice of him because I used to watch his tapes as a kid. Yes. And then I met him, and it was strange that life was long enough that you could meet somebody who you used to just watch on <laughs> on your television. <laughs> Do you know the life I'm sure Eddie would be deeply complimented by you saying so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> do you know what? <laughs> yeah, no, I know what you mean. You know yeah, what I, I mean? Yeah, by yeah I do, actually. It's, and it's lovely that a comedian that you liked so much as a kid now really likes you. I think it's a great endorsement. Yeah. I mean, he's never seen my work, but, <laughs> <laughs> but he does the occasional tweet, which is very generous. Are you on the Tweety? Yeah, but I'm not a fan. Oh, you're not? I'm so, I'm so boring on it. That every time... Everyone else is, too. I think it's all right. Yeah, I sort of haven't embraced it. And I was so tense about it, because, like, my, the people... Like, when I first started doing shows here, I, like, I wasn't doing it. And people said, well, you have to do it, because people don't know who you are, so you need to tell them. And so I got on the Twitter and then didn't know what to write. It felt a lot of pressure. So I remember writing something that was like, uh, did a show last night. Is that the sort of thing you people want? And... <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a little bit hostile, isn't it? <laughs> 20 people defollowed me. Really? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't know what to do. I know what you're supposed to do. Well, do you know, the drink, thing to do, if in trouble, tell a couple of Pope jokes. You'll be fine. <laughs> which, which, which one? Don't do any of the them. The trouble I, with uh, the Pope, you can't kill him, can you? Because no, no, you can't. No. <laughs> no, no, you, no, you, no, you can't. No, that, it, not just the Pope, anyone at all. No. You're not allowed to kill anyone. But even, like, with the Pope, it's especially pointless with the Pope, because, he, he, you know, they just replace him with a new one. Right. You can't... You can't right, do... it's like Doctor Who or James Bond. It's just, just saw, another one I coming just along. Yeah. I just saw myself in the monitor. I, look, I look great. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Well, like... that's only because you're sitting next to me. On your own, no. it might not be that good. No, you look lovely. We both look lovely. Thanks very much. You're a positive young man. I can see what Eddie sees in you. So now what happens in our lives? Well, we're done now. It's commercials. Um, I like your socks, though. Oh, look at my socks! I... <laughs> <laughs> this is easy. <laughs> Absolutely. It really is. It's just that simple. <laughs> it's kind of remarkable, isn't it? Yeah. I know. Are we having a commercial break? Well, we're... I'm having a commercial uh, what break. What am I doing? You're going away. No, that's oh, right, it. Okay. Yeah. But... But the thing is, let's end with an awkward pause. I think you're going to be good at that. Oh, OK. All right, you ready? Mm. All right, do you want to do smell my finger awkward pause or just a regular one? <laughs> that means yes, right? No, let's just... Uh, well, how do you do it normally? You just pause. Awkwardly. And what? Yeah, this is good. This that is good, yeah. <laughs> Jeffrey, do you know when I stand here at the end of the show warming my testicles by the roaring fire? Yes, yes. Well, sometimes I feel like busting loose. You feel like busting loose? I feel like busting loose. Uh -huh. It's getting hot in here. Would you care to take your clothes off? You're trying to talk like that guest we just had on because you think being English makes you better, but it doesn't really. The hell, man. This <laughs> <sighs> is a good week of shows, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty solid, man. <laughs> <laughs> good night, everyone.